New York's pretty awesome, but it's sort of stagnant right now. Um, as much as I love Tokyo, and I want to, I haven't been back there in a while to eat or in Japan. All you can really get is Japanese food. Uh, same thing goes in Italy. Same thing goes in France. Like that's why people say that it is the culinary capital of the world, and um, that's not an, it's not exaggerated. It's because you can really get anything you want here. Um, such a hodgepodge of cultures and ethnicity that um, it's just a subway stop away from eating Russian food or or Ethiopian food or stuff like that. And uh, ethnic food's good, but it could be better. I think ethnic food in LA is tremendous. Um, but like, uh, of all the places I got, I think New York's got some of the best food around, for sure. You know, you can get any, that's the thing. It's a bagel and then for lunch you can get sushi and then for dinner you can go get Chinese food. You can't do that anywhere else in the world. You got enough time for this one? <laughs> I think there's there's many reasons why New York's tough to open up a restaurant. Probably the most difficult is the rising rents. Um, it's completely, the real estate is increasing. Um, so it's not forgiving to uh, cooks that want to open up restaurants. Uh, they are now moving to other cities or outer boroughs. And if you move to the outer boroughs, you're not going to get the attention you need. Um, there's more and more restaurants, so there's less labor, less talent. Um, the city's becoming incredibly uh, sort of notorious for cracking down on regulations with the health department, Department of Environmental Protection Agency, um, all sorts of stuff. Um, whether it was a rat debacle, like they're doing a great job, but uh, it's hard enough to open up a restaurant and be successful. But there's so many roadblocks that prevent you from sort of maintaining that success and it would be easier somewhere else outside of New York but um, it's just hard <laughs> you know uh, once you get your doors open just to be you know alive for a year and then after that um, gosh trends change cooks leave um, it's hard It's wonderful, at least for us, the restaurant. We've been, again, incredibly lucky that for whatever reason, um, foodies or uh, you know, that word or people that enjoy food like our restaurant a lot or hate it. You know, we're, we're very beloved and very hated. There's nothing really in between. Um, and they really helped uh, support our restaurant. And I guess by getting it, I don't know what there is to get, but they seem to enjoy our food, so. Um, we wouldn't be around without them. You know, uh, there has obviously been a lot of talk for Las Vegas, but if that happens, it happens. Um, because of the fact that it's so difficult to operate in New York, it would be interesting to see what would happen in Las Vegas where uh, we wouldn't necessarily have the tight budget that we work on. Um, the government officials want you to do well in terms of they're not going to hassle you to get a hard bar, a hard liquor license. Uh, you're not going to get noise complaints. Um, uh, you know, you have built-in clientele, and they're not as fickle as as some. Um, um, Las Vegas always after they always say because it's money, money, money. But for us, it's we're always stuck in like these crazy small weird locations, and to have to start fresh in the new building would be really amazing. And I don't know, I don't know, like, we'd like to go to other cities as well. Uh, more importantly, not for me, but like for a lot of the guys, like, we'd love to look at Austin, Texas, you know, because for whatever reason, Texas produces a lot of cooks and they're all in New York City. And uh, like half my guys, a lot of the chefs, a lot of the sous chefs and my, my partner, business partner and chef, coach, whatever, Joaquin Barga, he, he's from Austin and, you know, God. I'm thinking about a lot of people from Austin, Texas, and it would be nice, nice for them. They all want to go back to Texas too. So, you know, if we're going to open up stuff, it's going to be to provide opportunities for, for guys that have helped me out.